Engine guard overheating alarms use a simple and quick to install bolt-on sensor. As you can see, it's based on a ring connector. So what you're measuring is the actual cylinder head temperature. It doesn't matter what goes wrong. It doesn't matter if you lose your coolant. It doesn't matter if your water pump fails. It doesn't matter if your thermostat gets stuck. The temperature sensor on the head will show your cylinder head going up immediately. And here's a great location. We're going to put it underneath the nut that goes on the stud directly into the cylinder head. Excellent heat transfer at this point. As you can see, I've taken the nut off. So we're going to slide the sensor over the top of the stud just like a washer. Then all we need to do is return the nut and retalk it to factory specifications. Now it's really important that for longevity of the sensor, you've got to make sure that you secure the sensor cable during the section of corrugated tube here to the cylinder head. That means that there's going to be no twisting or vibration. It'll vibrate at the same rate as the cylinder head and your engine. That'll mean that your temperature sensor will last the longest possible time. Very important, two points, bolted on and also cable tied. Like you can see here on this Land Rover cylinder head, as you can see it's bolted on and cable tied. 